Okie doke, I am going to uh, show you how to cut a uh, plexiglass die to do um, a domed blank for cloisonne. So I have here my design with the outside edge drawn on that design and I have here a piece of quarter inch thick plexiglass that I've drilled a hole through already to thread the saw blade through. And um, I'm going to cover the entire uh, plexiglass with a thin layer of rubber cement. And I'm going to wipe off the excess. I don't, I don't want to have a lot of extra rubber cement on that. And then I'm going to uh, put a layer of rubber cement on the front of my design and once again wipe off the excess so that I don't have a lot of extra rubber cement in between the design and the plexiglass and we're going to wait for that to dry Okay, my rubber cement is dry, and now I'm going to um, position this in the middle of the piece of plexiglass so that it has a nice surrounding all the way around. And um, really rub that on so that it, I make sure and have a good contact and then you can remove the excess rubber cement from the outside of the piece. Okay, and then I'm going to poke through where the um, where the hole is, so I can thread my <laughs> so I can thread my saw blade through there. And now I'm going to go ahead and thread this onto my saw blade. This is a, a number one aught um, Hercules saw blade. <clears throat> and I'm going to use a little bit of burr life to lubricate it and set up my set up my bench pin here. Now I'm going to go ahead and saw this out, and of course because I've sawn, I've, uh, I have glued this on with the, uh, with the design facing up, I can now see the exact line that I want to saw to. I could have put this hole a little closer to the edge, but I'll get there eventually. So I find that uh, extruded or cast plexiglass works equally well to do this. I don't really find too much difference in them. And I want to saw this as carefully as possible so that um, I don't have a lot of cleanup to do. And I do lubricate the blade fairly regularly because it, uh, the plexiglass is rather, is rather sticky. So I'm going to turn off the camera now so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me saw this whole thing out. I'll see you in a minute. Alright, so I've finished sawing this out of here. Oops. <laughs> finished sawing this out up here. And I'm going to leave the paper on 
long enough to uh, file the inside edge of the side that's going to be contacting the metal. I'm not going to worry a whole lot about this upper edge. It doesn't have to be beautiful. But the, um, but the bottom edge here, I want to have match, um, match my drawing as well as possible. And I can see that I was off the line a little bit here, so I'm just going to file until I get the, the shape that I want. And then, um, this looks pretty good. Um, and so then I'm going to pull the, the paper off, look one more time to make sure I'm not missing anything here. Um, I'm going to pull the paper off after her, I make sure that this all matches. I can see that there's a, there's a little spot here that's still a little bit tight. And now that looks good. All right. So I'm going to pull the paper off at this point so that I can get to that uh, bottom edge because at this point I'm going to um, round off that bottom edge just a little bit so that uh, when I press this that it doesn't um, it doesn't cut into the metal. Sorry I had to check and make sure I was working on the right end. Um, I'm going to write on this right now that this is the top. I'm just going to scratch it in here. Yeah. Because <laughs> after all this, I don't want to make my blank upside down. So, so I'm just rounding out that inside edge just a little bit so that it's no longer cutting edge. And this doesn't take very very much. Just knock that down. Okay, so now I'm ready to go make my blank. Alrighty. Okay, and here is the press blank. That was easy. Now I'll just saw this out, and you're going to go to the blank prepping video now. Okay, thanks. Bye.